Welcome to our presentation on how to connect ACT to Office 365. In this presentation, we have the objective of synchronizing multiple ACT users with Office 365. A couple of requirements that you need in order to do this. One of them, you need to have the Office 365 accounts with passwords. You need ACT, which are pretty obvious, and you need Outlook 2010 or later. It doesn't have to be configured, just install it on the machine. And of course, you need 123Sync version 16 or later. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an ACT database and we're going to map it to three accounts, uh, three Office 365 accounts that we've set up. In our case, it's going to be Alan Semicola, Chris Bell, and Ernst Anderson. So we're going to map these and then we're going to start to sync. So how long does it take? To configure 123 sync, it should take approximately 90 seconds or less, depending how fluent you are uh, with computers. But about 90 seconds, you should be able to map three accounts over to Office 365. Once you start synchronizing, what takes time is the transfer of data from your machine over to the Office 365. The first transfer is slow, but by the third sync, only modifications that are made either in ACT or in Office 365 are taken into the synchronization. So it should run about 100 or 200 or better times uh, than the original time. What is the bottleneck on our synchronization? And the major bottleneck is the network speed, or what we call the cloud speed. Uh, once the first two syncs are finished, however, it, you, your speed will be much better because only modifications are taken into account. So let's see uh, and have a look at our setup. So let's just go to the Office 365 management account that we set up. We just sign in here and we click on users. And we can see the Allison Mikola, Chris Bell, and Ernst Anderson as the different users. What I usually do, or what we usually do, we we copy these addresses and paste, put them on a text file. For example, like just like this. So this way we know who they are and their corresponding uh, uh, passwords. So we're now ready to set up 123Sync. So we click on Browse, click on our demo database. It will ask for the username and password. Chris Huffman, 123. We just, it will tell, ask us where, which country we are in. We'll restart it again. And now that we've restarted 123Sync, it will show me the different users. So let's just go to Alison Mikola. We put in the password, just test whether it's succeeded. And now we select Exchange 365. In 365, we just go to the notepad and copy for Mikola here. And we usually I put the same on the server. And then just uh, copy the password. Copy the password here, and that's it. We're ready now. Just select the storage. Um, by clicking on the icon now, it goes to the exchange, to the Office 365 and retrieves the, the data from Office 365 for you to select which folder it is. Here it is. This is Office 365, and click again. Okay, taking a little bit to there. And that we got, we we're set. So now we've done. We got uh, just a set of Chris Bell, and on Chris Bell, we just click on the uh, same thing. One, two, three. Do the test, and then we use the same thing on the um, on Chris Bell to copy and paste the the addresses here. Uh, oh, we got to do Exchange 365 there there and then just copy the the password 
and then just select a folder. So it logs in and now we're able to select a folder. And it goes out to the exchange. We're running a, on a very slow DSL at the moment, but it doesn't matter. It still goes out there and gets the data. And uh, once the data is in, we're now mapping the ACT users to their uh, appropriate data on Office 365. So we follow the same thing with Chris Anderson and what we've done is set up three users. Uh, the first user it took us uh, 90 seconds or less to set up and um, due to the speed of the DSL it took us a little bit longer to do Chris Bell and Ernst Anderson. But they're all set up now. They're ready to sync. So very quickly in a matter of uh, you know two three minutes you can set up three users to synchronize with exchange with office 365 so all you have to do now is synchronize click on synchronize and then press on the sync users that will start the transfer of all the data between act and exchange and it will actually try find matches and, and so on now that we have set up the three users to sync um, Using the interactive mode is kind of uh, time consuming because you have to pay in attention to it and you have to be there in person to answer the questions it asks. So I, when dealing with Office 365, we always prefer to do it in the, back, in the background and we always prefer to do using the Windows services. So we click here and we install the Windows service. And when it installs, it asks us uh, how often do we want uh, one two three sync to run and we say every 30 minutes so we just click on save and then just click on close and that now we can actually it tells us to set the username and password of the windows service so we click ok and what we see now is that here we have the windows services that we've set up and this is the one two three sync uh, windows service so for here we just double right click on it, click on properties, just have to set up the login. So we set up, that's the account we're using now, a test. We put in the password. Click on apply. And then we just start the service. So now we can see that uh, now we have a service running in the background and if you want to manage the service just click on the Windows installers and uh, just go back to background processing it shows you, it shows you that it's going to start at 406 you can click on uh, open the processing log uh, it's been running before so we just if we can clear it and if you clear the processing log there's nothing there so we're impatient here so we want to run it now so we just click on sync now and if you click on the background processing log you see that the service now is starting to run and uh, the viewer for the for the processing log actually ref kind of refreshes itself every 15 seconds or you can actually set it to refresh itself uh, manually if you want to so now it's syncing so what what it does now we're running a Windows service that's actually syncing all the data from from ACT over to Office 365 all in the background so it will sync every half an hour and then when it's done it will sync again every half an hour and after that uh, we'll see that uh, only changes are synced and it will go much much faster of course after every presentation let's see what we have learned about 123 sync for ACT and exchange it takes 90 seconds to open the ACT database and to set up the first ACT user to sync with Office 365 in 123 Sync. The background Windows service sync can be set up in less than 30 seconds. A couple of clicks, username, password, and you're done. Just get it started. And the 123 Sync Windows service, uh, it syncs with Office 365 without any interruptions. So it does everything in the background. And as the sync goes over time, 
as uh, the more syncs you have, only modifications are transferred and none of the other static data is actually taken into consideration. This renders the end of our presentation on how to sync ACT with Office 365. For more information, please contact your integrator or contact us at 123sync.com through our website and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you.